Topic. We didn't want to do anything that was like cliche. Mainstream. Like, so I mean, this is pretty liberal city. So as far as we, think, as far as I think, anyway. So something like about uh, homosexuality. We didn't really want to talk about that. We were gonna, because we knew that was just a general topic. And another group did talk about uh, homosexuality. So. And another group talked about everything under the sun, and they brought up every politically controversial thing in the world, and. Yeah. Yeah, conservative Republican, well, conservative Christian Republican, <laughs> from the hood, ghetto, <laughs> environmental <laughs> stuff. Yeah, the hippie, what? The hippie, yeah, the hippie. Was, yes. how, many, how many groups were there? Eight, Eight in total. Eight. Uh, most of them consisted of high school. There's one college group. I thought it was a mixed college. Yeah, it was a mixed. Yeah. Yeah. Was it? Was a mixed it was like there's two high schools. There was a lot of high schools, and then there was some. There were seven groups. different high schools. Willow Glen High School had two groups. Two teams. Oh, yeah. and wow. Were you all creating dramas? Or? No, no. Whatever. It's, whatever the first want. five plays were actually comedies, and then the last three, which was we started with, we were the first drama, and then it dramas. It's only by coincidence, too. <laughs> that happened. And yeah. Because then uh, there was also a uh, Redwood City, so that's like, yeah. like an hour. Like, not that oh, it's not 40 minutes. Well, like, like, were yes. you guys been comfortable with anything? <laughs> I'm kind of like, <laughs> yeah, well, originally I, I was uncomfortable with the subject at first because I was afraid it would come off the wrong way, but it ended up not, so I thought it was fine. Yeah. That, you know, when I was there, the whole time that I was there, they kept talking about um, their worries. They, they, were, they expressed to me how worried they were about how their play was going to be perceived, which of course made me feel even more like, what? Because I didn't know what the topic was either. So I had no way to guide, I just listened to them, and they, they were definitely worried about how they were going to be perceived. There were kids in the audience, too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah as soon as the kids started walking in to the festival for the, for the whole show, they were like, oh no, there, there are two, children There are two little girls that walked in that might have been awesome. Simple, like a metaphor, which is like really awesome. And I don't know, like we came up with that or if we do like a group thing, but it was really yeah, good. Um, <laughs> that was just, like, really awesome, and it just fits so perfectly like, with the situation. Like you know, like it's all growing. It's like you know, growing older and growing. So I was like, yeah. <laughs> They also were worried that people would start to think that they were condoning pedophilia, which is something that they're not trying to do. They just wanted to look at the issue through the perpetrator's eyes and not through and everybody else's, else's eyes. eyes. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, we, were, we, were, we did not at all want to glorify it. We didn't want to condone it. We didn't. And, you know, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's really it. While we were writing the script, we were looking through the sign, making sure it was creating the right message. And we're just trying to let the audience, like you guys, decide whether or not. And, well, personally, most of us, I think, generally can take notes, but, yeah. We're supposed to make you feel a little awkward. And actually, that was one of the judge's comments, where the judge said, you gave us a lot to think about. And so. uh, after the play, they had to, like, they had to take a few minutes to, like, let it sink in. And they said that made them feel uncomfortable, which we kind of thought we would that do. Would but not in a bad way, where it's like, well, it was did anybody else feel uncomfortable? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. What are you doing? Any questions? As a group, collaboratively, it was our first time, and especially being around each other for uh, 24 hours, <laughs> kind of got under each other's skin a lot. But. Someone had an outburst. Okay, um, Matt, you know what? I'm so glad I didn't. It's just the energy drinks, no. But no. in class, we worked with everyone in our um, class on writing scripts possibly. Yeah. This is definitely, it was definitely a different experience yeah. you know, working. And we didn't know what to expect going into here. 
Like we even made a promise to each other. Whatever we say to each other that may be insults or whatever, don't hold it personally. Because <laughs> we know that's going to happen. But, you know, it was actually calm. Now, for the most part, it was pretty calm. Like, nothing, we don't hate each other. At least I don't they, were, they were calm. But, yeah. Did you, did you write the whole thing and then work on it? Or did you sort of, did it sort of organically turn into the play and you kind of wrote it down? As, you know, like, yeah. like did we process? write a scene and what then block it? Or? No, what happened yeah. was really, we, she started it, she just came up with that huge idea, and then we were like, okay, let's roll with it. We got blocked for like the first part, but we, we got the play down and then we went with it. They had a first draft due at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yeah. We, we did not feel that. We did not make it. No, but, we had a first draft due were, at 1 in the morning. They had, right, they had, they had times at which specific things it. needed to be oh, done. Okay. We missed each other. Oh, did you? Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, we, we always oh, said, of course that, you did. We always yeah. said that the real deadline that we had to make was, was, the next the, day. was just like <laughs> final the final draft, which is the 7 a.m. deadline. And that's a hard deadline. You've got to have it in. By that, yeah, that was a hard deadline. You're not allowed to make changes after that? Yeah. No. no. That's the last time he's going to print. So. Interesting. So, like, we always said, like, the important times were that 7 o'clock, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And when we would perform. Those are the important times. Oh, you had more back I was going to say, you kind of wrote the topic, like, logistically, and I think presented something that people could think about, and I was wondering if you're looking at how you might publish it. I wanted to, I, I mean, me and my friend Scott wanted to write more. Would we get, um, with Kitten's help? I've, I've actually written an alternative ending um, when I got home from the festival, I was really high off of no sleep. <laughs> so even though I had been up for 41 plus hours, I could not sleep, and so I wrote an alternative ending, but that one's a little bit more dark. <laughs> 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 Making sure that the script made sense and that it flowed together, because we, like, we were up like late at night, and we were, like, and that caused us the most concern. And just because like we knew where we wanted it to end, but we were just like, how do we get there? Like, what is happening in the middle? And so making it really interesting. And like the first, after the first three lines, Kitten was like, she had a block, and yeah, just, like, we were all in a block, and we just yep. stood there for a, a good two hours. Like, we had like we had all the material, but we didn't know how to sew it together. <laughs> and at 3 a.m. we were still writing. Yeah. And and there were no private rooms. They were all kind of with everybody all the time. So they were seeing each other write. They were seeing each other argue. They were seeing each other rehearse, and they were hearing all of that stuff from a very open area. And they were so loud. There were some groups that were very loud. Um, what happened was when I had time. Oh, I was like, why, why didn't you want a fresh kind of view when you had a Oh, because we oh, were yeah, finished. Past past for final. She was there at the end. And I think we could have yeah. gone crazy if we, like, one little thing we wanted to change, even though we rehearsed it so, for so long. You know, we, didn't, we were happy with it. I wouldn't and, have let them change anything anyway. Last year, I did help um, the team, but I only helped them solve their personal issues with rehearsal conflict and outbursts and staying focused, right? I, I didn't tell them. I didn't, they didn't change anything else. They just fixed themselves. What were you saying? Wait, no, a question over there, actually. I don't think they know. Really. They, they, we we're, Most, we kind of, I guess, you know, they may have overheard us say pedophilia at one point. <laughs> but, you know, they gave us looks, but... We were trying to keep it more private. But then after, yeah. everyone was like, oh, God, that's <laughs> <laughs> You know, when I got there anyway, I was seeing all of these different school groups. They were all very huddled together, working together, focused, concentrated. And then I remember very distinctly at about 4.15 in the afternoon, somebody said, this is a competition. Yeah. <laughs> so ah. that was kind of fun. <laughs> I think it was one of the teams from Willow Was it, was it Team 1? <laughs> no, I don't think. Well, maybe it was. Because they got the most sleepy. Maybe it was. Maybe it was. <laughs> I just want to say real quick that I'm 
so absolutely blown away. I'm so proud of all of you guys. And I think it was more than amazing. I think you guys did it on the nose. And you guys nailed it. And again, I'm so proud of you guys. Like, it was really good. And I'm so, like, amazed. I'm blown away. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.